In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock diamond camo for launchers in Cold War super easy and very fast. First off, guys, if you enjoy this video at any point in time or help you out at all, please do me a huge favor and leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and put notifications on for more future Cold War content just like this. Let's go. So today is November 14th, and the game has only been out for a day. The game came out on November 13th, and I already have diamond launchers, which I believe I am the first person in the world to actually get diamond launchers, so I'm going to help you guys out getting them as fast as possible so make sure you guys follow these tips that way you can get them diamond too and then move on to your next dark matter camo so first you guys are going to want to start immediately launchers do take a while and if you start them now it'll help you out in the long run also make sure that you guys are using a different primary gun that way you can actually kind of keep your kd somewhat positive a quick psa about ammo for the launchers the sigma actually gives you three rockets on the side but the rpg only gives you two so you guys could end up using the ammo pack here or the two ammo boxes on most maps. One thing I found myself doing a lot is once I'm out of rockets, I just ended up holding a grenade. That way I could respawn with more rockets and continue to shoot out score streaks. Stuns are the second equipment I would recommend because you can throw a stun and kill your opponent, especially if they're on an objective and hopefully get a double kill. Perks are going to help you out massively with unlocking these launchers camos, so I'm going to give you guys the best perks to use. First off, in perk slot 1, you guys have to run Engineer. Engineer will help you see enemy score streaks, vehicles, and equipment throughout the entire map. They will glow red through walls and everything. Next, you are going to need the Lawbreaker wildcard. This will allow you to use multiple perks from the same slot, and this is very important. I use two perks from the perk 3 slot, and that is Ghost and Cold Blooded. Ghost will allow you to stay off your enemy's radar when they have a UAV or a spy plane and then that will allow you to kind of hide around the map more and be able to take out their score streak. Also, using Cold Blooded will allow you to not be shot by enemy AI score streaks. This is huge for taking out attack helicopters. If they're not shooting at you, you're going to have a fun time being able to take them out and actually living longer. There are two game modes that you are going to play while unlocking your launcher camos. These are the only two game modes that are going to get you on the fastest track to getting your launcher's diamond. The first game mode that you guys are going to play is Hardcore Dom. In Hardcore Dom, your launchers will one-shot your opponents, allowing you to get kills easier, especially your double kills, that will be the move. The other game mode is Combined Arms. This is an absolute must for taking out enemy vehicles and score streaks. There's only two ground score streaks in the entire game, which is the RCXD and the Sentry Gun. For some reason, people don't use either of them. If they do, they're gonna blow up their RCXD before you can even get close to it. And the Sentry Gun, I really have only seen like three while playing this game. Combined arms, enemies, and your team have vehicles such as boats, snowmobiles, bikes, and tanks. With this, you'll be able to shoot enemy vehicles and blow them up. Those will count for vehicles for the camos that need you to destroy enemy vehicles. I highly recommend you guys go and play on small maps. This will allow you to be closer to your opponent's score streaks and be able to shoot them down. The three maps I recommend you play are Satellite, Crossroads, and Armada. And for combined arms, only play Armada. The other two you could play, but I found my most success in Armada. The reason we use Satellite, Crossroads, and Armada is Satellite and Crossroads have a very open sky, so you'll be able to shoot enemy score streaks very easily. The sky is super open, so you'll have a clean shot, especially if you're using the RPG, because that does not lock on. There are only two launchers in Call of Duty Cold War. That is the Sigma and the RPG. The RPG shoots a lot faster and ADS is quicker, allowing you to get kills a lot faster and easier, but when you guys are shooting vehicles, again, it does not lock on, but the ADS speed and the shot time actually helps you out with that. When using the Sigma, aerial streaks are going to be very easy to take out. You can take out enemy care packages before they even get to the map, along with enemy attack helicopters, and you can take out UAVs and counter UAVs very easily. Keep in mind, counter UAVs do take two rockets. Also, unlike Modern Warfare, UAVs and counter UAVs count as aerial streaks, so they will not count for your ground streak challenges. For spray, you are going to need to get 50 eliminations in multiplayer that goes with the RPG as well. 
keep in mind the weapon mastery challenges are bugged right now as you guys can see I clearly have gotten the eliminations but they do not count for the game right now it's just a bug in the beginning of the game for stripes it is very easy all you need to do is destroy 50 enemy equipment score streaks or vehicles so literally anything enemy and if you have the engineer perk on anything red shoot that you'll be good to go bouncing Betty's and field mics are super easy to destroy especially with the RPG for classic you're going to need to get three kills without dying 20 times and this one is a bit more challenging so again play hardcore that way your rockets will be able to damage your opponent and kill them in one shot the best way to do this is try to get multiple kills like a double or triple kill so I would recommend leveling up your Sigma and your RPG so that you can do two camos at once for geometric, you're going to need to have to destroy 50 ground based score streaks or vehicles in multiplayer. And I know I said 50, the RPG takes 25. But the Sigma, you need to do it with 50. So make sure you guys put some time away to do this. This one will take a while. For Flora, you're going to need to destroy 50 aerial score streaks or vehicles in multiplayer. Again, for the RPG, that is 25. However, for the Sigma, that is going to be. 50. So you are going to need to take out UAVs, care packages, attack helicopters, those are the best to use especially with the Sigma. However with the RPG I found destroying enemy care packages is about the easiest aerial score streak you are going to take out. However you can go ahead and shoot the UAVs. It is just very very hard to shoot them with the RPG. I was only able to get like 4 of them and you have to get extremely lucky. Also, the attack helicopters are easy to take down with the RPG if you manage to get underneath them and just shoot straight up. For science, you are going to need to destroy 3 score streaks or enemy vehicles in a single game 10 times. While grinding out the other camos, this one will kind of just happen if you get lucky enough to destroy 3. So you are going to need to kind of make it an objective to destroy 3 vehicles when you can. But this one doesn't take too long. It is harder with the RPG though. For psychedelic, you are going to need to kill 2 or more enemies rapidly 25 times in multiplayer. This one is a lot easier to do with the RPG because it does have a faster fire rate and it does travel quickly allowing you to get that explosive faster i would highly recommend you guys play hardcore domination shooting at the b flag camping around the b flag and waiting for your opponent to go and capture it once you've completed all those camos you will unlock gold for whichever one you do first once you do the second one you will unlock diamond and you will be on your way to dark matter ultra so if you guys made it this far into the video, you now are going to unlock the bonus tips. The first bonus tip I have for you is have a friend or friends help you. This will allow you to take out enemy vehicles and score streaks a lot faster if you coordinate with them within your party. Tell your friends to shoot an attack helicopter twice with their sigmas and then you'll be able to hit that final one and be able to take it down. Same goes with tanks or boats in combined arms, that will help you out a lot. Coordinate your shots in order to take out the tanks because some people when their tank gets damaged or their boat gets damaged, they decide to hop out of it and then you don't get the kill. The second bonus tip I have for you guys is use care packages and you may be wondering why would I be using a care package if I'm trying to take out the opponents. Use your care package, run all the way to the other side of the map and throw your care package down for your opponents. This will drop a care package and they are going to steal it. They are going to get a streak and that may help you take out one of their streaks for your camos. Again, there's only two ground streaks and it is very hard to take them out. So that is a helpful tip that will allow you guys to get extra score streaks destroyed on their team. Those are the best tips I have for completing your diamond launchers in Call of Duty Cold War. If this video helped you out, please do me a huge favor and leave a like. Also, subscribe to the channel with post notifications on so you guys get notified when I drop more videos. Check out the video you see on your screen right now and also if you're interested I do stream on my second channel that will be the subscribe link in the top right hand corner of your screen click that if you're interested I'd love to see you guys there have a great day everybody